Okay guys, Metal Maverick here, back to another silver unpackaging. We got two patches this time. I'm gonna dive right into them. I got both of these from Provident Metals. There's no difference in dealers. Oh, they didn't send them in a roll this time. They sent them in a little baggy. Okay, that's cool, actually. Wow. Dropping coin rolls over here. They didn't send them in rolls. You see this side. Lots of Roosevelt dimes. And Merc at the bottom. But this is the side I opened it up to. One, two, so there's at least three Mercury Dimes in here. Hopefully there's something else. We'll look at those in a second. We'll get this next box open. Then we'll go through that roll. Yes, but there's a few overlap. Okay, wasn't expecting to do a double box thing with this one. Okay. They really tape these shut now. I like that. Sorry, I have like coin rolls right off to the side here and I keep hitting them. Okay. We got the Aztec magnet. Just pretty cool looking. They didn't have to put it in the bag with the silver, but it is what it is. Okay. Looks like I got another two dollars face and quarters. They all look like Washingtons from this angle. So go through those in a second. Alright. We got this Britannia. Britannia looking coin. I think this is fashioned on their old uh, trade units, like back in the day. I think that's why I bought this, because it's probably a lot cheaper to buy the remake than the original. So If I find an original, I'd probably buy one, though. I want to get an American trade unit. Those look pretty cool. Okay. And then we got a few of these. Chiwoos. So we got three of those. It's the third one in the design in the series. They all have the same back right here. And 
they have to proof one of these out now, and all it is is like right around the one clay and stuff is all just proofed. The rest of the coin looks normal as I hit another rollover. So, I mean, they're pretty good looking coins. I'd have to say it's probably my least favorite design in the series, but it's still pretty cool. So I just picked up three of them this time, so one, two, three. What do we have here? Oh, I think this is just a case. I already like a one ounce bar case or something like that. Yeah. I guess they sent me more than one. I think I only ordered like one, but they sent me like an entire package. Or... Oh no, I guess I ordered four. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Nice. I thought I only paid for one. So, just got that for some of our single bars that we got. Just because I wouldn't mind carrying one around or anything, but I don't want to damage it. So let's see what these in these quarters. Start with those. We got a 64. We got a 64. Some stuff on it. We got a 43. A little older. Not bad looking. We got a 44. Go. I'm not gonna go through these quite as like long as the other ones. Another 44, another 64. Like usually, might just find something more interesting. Another 64 and a 62. There you go. Shinier one here. That's a 64, 62. So. Now let's see those Mercury Dimes. Those look interesting. Or maybe I just got like a random... I don't know, I'll remember. I can't remember if I ordered a specific amount of Dimes and Quarters or if... Yeah. He just sent me whatever. That one's pretty damaged. 64, the dent in it. 60s, 50s, 52. Yeah, mostly 60s and 50s so far. There's our first Mercury dime. Looks like it's a 19. 25. So in 1925. It's pretty cool. Other than that, I'm just getting Roosevelt's. I'm not going to show you the Roosevelt's. It's not as impressive. You find those all the time. Got a 45? Looks like a 45. Mercury. Yeah, it doesn't want to capture it for some reason. There's another Mercury. It's a bit more worn. 44. Roosevelt's, Roosevelt's. 
Another 44. Worn around the edge there. There we go. And another few. Another 44. Probably more common dates. This one looks pretty good. This looks like there's a lot of detail. It's a 43. Too bad it's not a penny. So. There's another one. 36. That's pretty old. Wow, there's a lot more in here than I was expecting. It's 42. And there's another 44. There's a couple more marks. Ooh, a 1929. Not bad looking either. You can see some bands on the back. 42. Yeah, it's not that one. Here's another 41. I think that's the first 41 we've gotten here. There we go. Those are all just. Roosevelt's 43. There's another. 36. What I'm going to do is after I get done showing you guys these mercuries. I'm going to look them all up to see if any of them are any key dates because I'm not quite as keen on my dimes than I am on the pennies. 35. I know the mercuries have a little bit of a premium to them so it's nice to get those. 44 with some kind of cool stuff. There's like some green and yellow on there. Kind of neat. Got a forty five, it looks like. And another one, with some tarnishing stuff on it. I think that's a damaged coin. Yeah. It's in 1931? 41? I don't know. It's damaged right there. So. I guess that's why you get it labeled junk, huh? It's got scratches and stuff on it, homie. 1941 but it's still silver all the same it's all about the weight 
got a 41. Got a 41. And we got a 36. And that would be everything. And that's the Roosevelt. Well, that's it for this unboxing, guys. I'm going to go get those into some cases and sort out these dates and see if there's any key dates in these dimes. So hopefully you guys have a good one. See you later.